Hello my friends, this is your friend Alex Super Nintendo Gamer. Welcome back to the channel and this week's episode of the Alex Gamer Channel. And today my friends, for the review this week we are gonna I'm gonna talk about Super Mario 64 The classic Nintendo 64 game. And we see we got the game I have on Nintendo Switch to show what we're talking about today, my friends. And also too, I'm gonna ask you guys one question. Did you guys play Super Mario 64? When it first came out, Nintendo 64, 4th September 29th in North America, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, well, well we're going to start the review. Now, if, you, if you're a fan of like Mario games, or 3D games, or action-adventure games, this is the game for you, my friends. And Super Mario 64 is a timeless classic. And I, did, I, didn't, I was born in 1995, I was born the year before it came out. And it came out, it first really came out in June 23rd in Japan. We didn't get... Our copy until September 29th in 1996. Okay, to start with this, I want to tell you about this game, my friends. This game is a really classic, and I first got my copy in 2010 at a flea market for my Nintendo 64 system, and ever since then I have ball with this game. This game is just spectacular. Super Mario 64 was the first 3D Mario game, and it was released on Nintendo 64 September 29th in North America, 1996. June 23rd in Japan. Now this game is a classic too. Everything about this game is spectacular. There's about 15 worlds and 9 secret worlds. And there's 120 stars in the game. And of course you know Bowser's the main villain. And we, in this game Prince Peach invites Mario to help her bake a cake at the castle. And when he gets there he finds out the castle is dessert. There's some to toads around and he finds out that a lot of people are crap inside the castle walls. Because of, we know who, old Bowser, he's at it again. He never gives up. And we know in the game, Mario has to go across 15 different worlds to get to Princess Peach. And you gotta collect stars in each world. And there's also secret worlds out of the castle. And you, have to kinda, you gotta keep collecting like the power stars, and unlocking the doors, and find like keys and stuff to order to get deeper into the game. So you can get to so rescue Princess Peach and collect all the power stars. I don't think you have to collect all of them to get them. I think you have to have like, like 80 or 60 to get to the end. I can't remember. But I know you don't have to collect all of them to, to beat the game. But if you want the best ending for the game, you probably want to collect all of them. And oh, everything about this game, it's just, everything is just beautiful about this game. Each world is completely different from each other. Some are kind of a little similar, but like Snowland and Cold Cold Mountain, they're kind of similar. But they're snow themed, but they've got different environments. Everything about this game is just spectacular from the beginning from the end. Once you start this game, it'll be hard to quit playing. Because you start off, just, there's just some, there's all different worlds and there's enemies and there's different bosses in the game. Not many bosses as later 3D Mario games, but there is a good little bit of bosses. And we know this is the game where Mario grabs Bowser by the tail and he flings him across the air and he hits that spike bomb and he goes flying backwards. And we also know this is the really the first Mario game that Charles Martinet, the original voice of Super Mario in the game, made his did the voice for Mario in Super Mario 64. Really cool game. And this game has just been spectacular. Since this won the first 3D Mario game, the whole everything just there's just everything about it is just spectacular. From power ups we see like the power, like this the wing cap where Mario can fly through the air. I and mean, it's like the metal cat where he turns into metal Mario and you go on the water. He also becomes invisible. I mean, well, speaking of invisible, there's also the invisible cat that turns Mario invisible and he can go through like objects like through whales and stuff and enemies can't see him. Of course it makes it more hard to see him. Everything about this game is spectacular. If you really like 3D Mario games, this is really the game for you. And we can Mario is asleep right here. And let's see, if you let him fall asleep, He'll actually start mumbling his sleep about food. I think he talks about ravioli and lasagna. So far he hasn't said it. But everything's just... And also too... Also I highly recommend this game for you my friends because... Oh, it's a...
And he said, he talks about the Skeddy and Ravioli. That's probably one of my favorite things in this game from Mario Falsely. And he mumbles in his sleep. Oh, screen going back there. Oh, he's up. Should Mario jump? He jumps. Everything about this game is spectacular. Because when I got this game in 2010, I played with it. And then I didn't get the... And then I didn't have a good control for my Nintendo 64. Until about 2019, I really got into the 64 more. And... I got new control for it, and I just had ball ever since with this game. I was getting so good at this game, I was able to clear a couple of the worlds within an hour. But I hadn't done that for a while. Everything about this game is spectacular, my friends. And if you guys even grew up playing this game, or got recently, this is an excellent game for you to play, because everything is spectacular about this game. The platforming, the bosses, the challenges, everything is spectacular. And we know a lot, there's a lot of different... Worlds in this game. I think the hardest world is Rainbow Ride because there's, you're mainly up in the air and one false move you go flying right back down. Mario does that famously though. And then, he, and then whenever happens, they throw him out of that world and he says, Mamma mia. And I also, everything's just spectacular about this game. And I like it when you go like into a new world, you hear that music, it has like that da 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 da, and then you, whatever world you click on, he, Mario says, Let's go. And we can't forget about we can pull Mario's face in this game, because that's the title screen. You can move like the cursor, move the little, and move that little hand on the screen, and pull Mario's face. And we know that got, became a mini game in the Mario Party games later. Everything is spectacular about this game. And I'd say Nintendo did an excellent job on this game. And we also, we know we could play this game like on the Wii, Wii U, and now the Switch. No, now we can't play it on the Wii, Wii U now, because now those eShop and the Wii Shop channels are closed on there. But if you got your copies early, before those closed, you can play those on that system. But we know the Nintendo 64 version on Nintendo Switch Online. We know it was also on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. But we know also on the Nintendo Switch Online version, you can play with the, with the wireless Nintendo 64 control at Nintendo release from the Nintendo Switch Nintendo 64 Online app. So you can play. I haven't got that controller, but... I probably really want to try out place because I played the original Nintendo 64 controllers. So pretty much, so that pretty much wraps up for today's video. I, I don't know if to talk about, maybe there's about one more thing to talk about this game. Oh yeah, we must not forget. The remake. We know in 2004 there was a remake on Nintendo DS called Super Mario 64 DS. And I think the working title was called Super Mario 64 Times 4. And I have, it, I have that copy, but it hadn't been working here lately. It was used when I bought it. I got for free, I think it was from EB's Games. I got free from EB's Games when I bought two games. We, we know in that version you could play Yoshi, Luigi, and Wario, and there was like mini games, and there was more secret worlds, and the, there was up to 150 stars. And we know we could play that version on the Wii U, but now since the, the eShop's down on that, we can't play it on that unless you got your copy early on that. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, my friends. I want to ask you guys a question. What is your favorite version of Super Mario 64? The original Nintendo 64 or the Nintendo DS remake? Let me know your thoughts in the comments because I would really like to hear them. Okay, that wraps up for this week's episode of the Alex Game Show. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. If you like this type of video, please give a like, a share, and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the Alex Super Nintendo Game and click that bell to get notifications to get more fun content from Alex the Super Nintendo Gamer. See you guys on Mario Monday for World 4 on Super Mario Land. That'll be the last part. And we'll see you guys next week on the next episode of the Alex Game Show. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and God bless you, my friends. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.